you're welcome. Mm -hmm. We'll be loving you for a lot of stuff. Happy princess. I got it right last time. I got it wrong. Got it. Happy <coughs> princess. Um, and welcome to the All or Nothing press conference with our main WBA champion, Teresa Perosi, everybody in the Islanders, of course. And we've got our visiting champion, WIBA champion, Tor Tori Nelson. So we should call this actually the Ladies Night because it's going to be some tough fighting from the ladies amongst us that you're going to get a chance to meet today. We've also got a, a big fight between our kickboxers at Twali Woolwich, then Catchflow, and you'll also meet Selena, uh, sorry, Jennifer Salinas and Karen Dude. So um, I guess I could leave this podium right now and let you guys throw anything, any questions or anything you want to these two champions. Um, it's a unification fight. Um, so we're going to have the WBA and WBC um, unification fights, so whoever wins this, that's why it's called the All or Nothing. Uh, it's going to be a, a double champion, and uh, I'm sure there's going to be people gunning for them. So I'll leave it up to you gentlemen and ladies. Tori, what do you know about uh, Teresa? Um, I know she's a softball, and I know she trains hard, so I know I'm going to have to bring it in order to win this fight. What have you been doing to prepare for this one? Um, I've been sparring softballs, just working on the skills that he's taught me. That's my trainer, Craig, has taught me. And just getting my cardio up and being ready. Now you arrived in Bermuda today. You think uh, you've given yourself enough time to be ready for Saturday night? Oh yes, sir. I was ready. In, you know, I was ready in Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're, you're, undefeated. you're undefeated. Yes. Going into this fight, does that add any, any additional pressure on you? No, sir. I, um, <coughs> it, it always has to be a, a winner, a loser, or a draw. So it, it doesn't put any pressure on me. And I have confidence. I'm blessed, so I know what I've trained to do, and I just have to come and do what I. Have. The train. Nothing new, just do what I've been taught. How bad you want this one? Bad. <laughs> I'm always hungry. Now, Teresa, you're, you're probably in the best shape that we've seen you for a very long time. You confident going into this? I'm very confident. You know, you always, there's always the uncertainty. Obviously, what's most important is safety for me and my opponent. Because uh, you never know, it, it, one punch can change the whole thing. But you know, I wanted some. I wanted to step up. I wanted to. I, I, I've been impressed with Tori. What I've, the little I've seen, what I've heard, and you know, it's it's time. Bermuda wants it. So I, I don't. When I retire, which is not probably too far down the road, I want to go out saying I fought tough competition. So I'm just really grateful they've come and taken. Because she didn't have to come here. A lot of people don't like to come in other people's home. But I respect that about her, because I do. That's what I've been doing up until the last two fights. I, I've had to, just to get, get, the, get the fights, I've had to go somewhere else. So Bermuda can expect your all come Saturday night, leaving yeah. it all in the ring. I, I feel, even though when the bell goes, we're both going to win. But I feel a connection with her, because I feel in her she has heart. She has determination. She trains hard. She's a mother. She works two jobs. She, she's not here for a payday and a vacation, so I respect that, and it's going to be a great fight. Thank you. your tweet, your, your, your game, your technique. Are you comfortable with the changes that you've made in, in preparation for this fight? Well, you know, you always, right now, going into it is all mental. I've done the physical work, but do I expect that I'm going to be 100% change? No. I mean, I've, I've had these habits 10, 12 years now, but I'm going to do my best to try to implement what I've been working on the last month or two and hope for the best and you know just I just want to make my coaches my family everybody proud and as long I know I'll give my best no matter what the outcome is it, it'll be my best. I love the game fighting in front of her and cross and you know, that's it kind of feel you a bit more? You know it makes you more <coughs> nervous feel, you feel the pressure but I've been there so I know once the bell goes I'm okay it's getting to that point I like being an underdog I like going to someone else's home town so that doesn't phase me either so you guys are great, so that helps. What about her record? She's unbeaten. So there's a lot of hype about her. My, my is record's that, is deceiving. Okay, my record's deceiving. My record should be 10-2. and two, So I don't look at it. It doesn't matter. I don't know who her opponents are. I don't look at that because she hasn't fought me, and I haven't fought her. I'm sorry, what, what would you say to uh, you know, your folks back home right now uh, leading up to this match? Um, I just want to thank them all for all their prayers 
I know they're still praying for me, and um, I want to thank my spokes guy, Barry Bateman. I want to thank my boys, Eric Hernandez and Matthew and Alex for working softball with me so I can be ready for Teresa. And I just want to say, you know, let God's will be done. And I thank everybody back home. I miss y'all, and I'm bringing you bells home. So, Teresa, what do you have to say to, to your Bermuda fans? Well, I mean, I can't thank them enough. Um, everybody's been so great. This is happening because Bermuda wanted it, because the sponsors have come out and made this happen, made it easier for the promoter to put this on. And I just hope that this is finally we're getting boxing back, because boxing is the only medal we have in the Olympics. We produce Troy Darrow, Clarence Hill, so many names. Boxing was huge in Bermuda, so I'm hoping that this is giving people, we have people like Nikki Bascom coming out, this is the next Troy Darrell, and we need to really support. I'm, I'm on my way out. I'm almost 40 years old. I'm not trying to be a 40-year-old something grandmother doing this, but <laughs> if this can help. I said I'm going out with a bang on my 40th birthday, but hopefully by then, you know, we would have really made something happen in Bermuda. <laughs> what they say. Tori, how does how's your faith helped you in this? Oh, without faith I have nothing. God is my everything. That's that's boxing chose me. That's what I tell people. I want to be a state trooper. But God had a different plan for me. And I know being that I'm following him, I'm gonna be successful. So I just faith is everything to me. You and Teresa have both fought uh Larissa Rivas. Larissa. Larissa, yes. So uh, what can you take from that, from seeing those two results? Anything? No, I didn't see, I didn't see her fight. I didn't see her fight with her either. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I can't take anything from her. You both beat her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really all yeah. We had an awful experience going to Trinidad when we fought Larissa Rivas. And she was very disrespectful and, and boastful that she was going to knock Tori out. And for me, I've been around boxing since I was 13 and I'm 52. And um, people think you have to have a press conference where people threaten each other and have bad blood and trash talk. But I guarantee you, these two girls with the class that they have are going to, it's going to be a war. But you don't have to hate each other. Look at old time boxing, Joe Lewis and those fights. So it's refreshing, and we respect Teresa, and I, I wanted to say that. It's, um, but it won't take away from the effort right. from the girls. Which don't have to be. Well, I was too. This is my what? What do you know about your opponent? I just know that she's a very tough girl. She's always in shape. Um, she can fight. She goes the distance. She's very tough. And um, it's, she's never been stopped, never been dropped, never been given an A count before she's fought very tough girls out there. Um, so I've trained hard, and I'm, I'm ready to bring it to her, just like I do for all my fights. Uh, Nier was talking about uh, potentially you 
getting ready for a title fight. How, how soon do you hope to be fighting for one? Well, I think about another two more fights for a classification just to um, move my way up on the rankings and then possibly a, a title fight in Bolivia, in my country, um, sometime next year, early next year. Now, how proud are you to be fighting for Bolivia? I'm very proud. I feel very blessed. I had a meeting with the president of my country um, a few weeks ago, and he's offered his help and support for this big project that we're trying to put together, at, um, fighting for a title for Bolivia and Bolivia. Uh, so I have a lot of support behind me, and I'm very excited that I'm, I'm able to do this. Uh, I love boxing, and my dream is to, to fight for a title and be a world champion one day. And do you feel more pressure as favorite? I'm sorry? Do you feel more pressure as favorite in this fight? No, no. I mean, we're both international fighters, so I think it's a very fair fight. And, um, yeah, I mean, we've trained very hard. This is what we do for a living, and we're going to give our best. I know I will give my best. Yeah, but, um, I just... A minute. I literally planned every minute in my day. I don't have a social life. I, um, I love my life, don't get me wrong, but I am a mother of four. My youngest uh, just turned six months. Uh, so every time I get pregnant, <laughs> I'm literally back on my feet. I give birth at home, so I don't deal with any medications or nothing that can hold me back. So I'm back running four days later, and I'm always taking care of myself. So. I, um, I take my job very seriously. I respect all the time that my trainer puts into me and all of my team in general. And I wouldn't go in the ring just to collect a check or for exposure. I mean, I, I do train hard and, and it's not easy. My days are very long and my nights are extremely short. <laughs> so where does, so where does the, that motivation come from for you to, you know, go that hard? Um, I, I enjoy fighting. I enjoy the discipline that boxing gives me. But more than anything, I think being the only um, fighter that represents Bolivia, and really I'm the only female professional fighter in Bolivia, I feel like it's a blessing and it's um, part of God's plan in my life to put Bolivia on the map when it comes to boxing and, and bring the so, name up. All right, so